Hello, welcome back to the channel. Right before I start, I just want to say that if you would like to support the channel, you can do so through buymeacoffee.com. There, you can make donations to the channel and you can also suggest stories as well. I'll be putting a link in the description below. So again, if you want to donate to the channel, you can go to buymeacoffee.com. The Colombian serial killer Pedro Alonso Lopez, who is known as the Monster of the Andes, raped and murdered over 300 girls from Ecuador, Peru, and Colombia. However, after he was caught and imprisoned for 18 years, he was put in a psychiatric hospital. There he was reviewed, declared to be sane, and was set free, in spite of his blatant avowal that he fully intends to kill again. Since he was released in 1998, nobody knows where he is or what he's doing. He is supposed to be 71 years old at present. He is known for being the most prolific killer ever. There is a genetic disease called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. When tissue is damaged, it is replaced with bone. Growths from underneath their skin and joints lock solid so over time those affected slowly become encased in a prison of bone just beneath their own skin. They usually have to choose between sitting or standing up for the rest of their life. By the end of their life they have to drink every meal through a straw and can barely move. Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always more decomposed than their male counterparts. They discovered that this was because male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than female bodies. Female bodies were kept at the family home until they started to decompose in order to avoid necrophilia at the embalmers. After getting stung by a cone snail, you don't feel the sting for a little bit. There is no anti-venom and it can be lethal. Treatment is basically keeping the victim alive until the venom wears off. If you begin to display symptoms of rabies, you will go crazy and die. There is no cure, your brain will slowly melt until you are dead. Serial killer Richard Chase took any unlocked door as an invitation to come inside. The Chankiri tree is a tree in the Cambodian killing fields against which babies and small children were bashed after their parents had been killed. In some and extreme cases the children and infants of adult victims were killed by having their heads bashed against the trunks of Chankiri trees and then were thrown into the pits alongside their parents. The rational was to stop them from growing up to take revenge for their parents' deaths. The men of the ship Essex, the true events that inspired the story Moby Dick, avoided Iceland's after being shipwrecked for fear of cannibals. The Iceland's were settled and landing there would have brought salvation to the survivors. Ironically, because of this bypass, the men ran out of food and were forced to eat each other for survival. Your brain can play tricks on you to make you see monsters in the mirror, call it the Troxel effect. The Troxel effect is an optical illusion that affects how you perceive things, both visually and mentally. It's a phenomenon in which the surrounding shape disappears or changes when you stare at some point for a long time. You may experience the background becoming blurred, seeing the after image of the picture, or an illusion of changing color. It wasn't until 1987 that the American Academy of Pediatrics declared it unethical to operate on newborns without anesthesia. Until surprisingly recently, the medical community felt it would be dangerous to give infants anesthesia and or believed that they didn't feel pain. There is a parasite that enters a fish's mouth eats the tongue and replaces itself as the fish's new tongue. I bring this up at parties all the time. When climbing Mount Everest, there is a point nicknamed Rainbow Valley or Rainbow Ridge because it's absolutely littered with the bodies of people who attempted to make the climb. The combination of the extremely cold temperatures and the bright snow suits means that they become a never rotting but colorful landmark. The origins of vampires as we know them. Basically, your body has gas build up when you die. I'm not medically inclined enough to explain why. Basically, the gas has to escape somehow and so it would pass through the vocal cords in the throat. 
This creates the low moan that makes the body sound like if it were in pain. The people back then had no idea what was happening and random bodies would just start moaning in pain. And thus they believed that the bodies were rising from the dead and when stabbed the gas escaped otherwise. Thus leading to the belief that the only way to stop a vampire was to stab a dead body in the chest. This also led to a lot of strange burials. For example, the man that was buried in a stone wall to prevent him from rising from the dead. There are other factors to add to the overall myth of vampires. One is that premature burials were a thing back then. Someone would be in something like a coma or vegetative state, but they didn't really have the instruments to tell if a person was still alive or not, and someone in certain medical states could have a faint pulse and shallow breathing, which looks like dead or as good as dead to the untrained eye. So sometimes people would come back to life, which to superstitious people who legit thought the person was dead would freak them the fuck out. This phenomenon was common enough that some people were buried with bells. They could ring from their coffin in the event they were buried prematurely and people would put cages around the graves to prevent the dead from rising. The Black Mamba is the fastest snake which can slither at a speed of 12.5 miles an hour. They have neurotoxins which are fast acting. The venom shuts down the nervous system and paralyzes the victim. Its venom is able to kill 10 people and it repeatedly bites. To add on to this, there is almost a 100% kill rate and can kill in 20 minutes. More than 7,000 people die annually due to doctors bad handwriting. The reason dogs like squeaky toys is because the squeak reminds them of small animals dying. If you sniffle a sneeze there's a chance you can damage organs in your head including eye blood vessels, rupture your eardrums and possibly rupture a brain aneurysm. Which means there's a small chance that stifling a sneeze can kill you. Better to be a loud ass with the sneeze that can be heard around the world than to be a dead loud ass cause someone told you to stifle that sneeze. Ducks become cannibals due to boredom of all the fucking reasons. They can only be stopped by cutting off their mouths. There was a speech made for Apollo 11 if they were to die on the moon. Side fact, if it were to happen People will look up at the moon knowing that that crew died there and their bodies would rest there till the end of time. Not forgetting that the ocean is somewhat like this, many people die there too at the very depths of the sea. The smell of freshly cut lawn is actually a chemical distress signal released from the grass as it's cut. You're smelling the souls and screams of the innocent. In scientific terms, the aroma is in fact a mixture of organic compounds called a green leaf volatiles that serve as an aromatic distress signal to surrounding vegetation. The Japanese secret human experimentation group called it Unit 731 performed experiments on infants, children and adults without anesthetics. They would cut out stomachs and reattach the esophagus to the intestines, remove limbs and see how long people would die from blood loss, remove parts of livers, brains and other organs. They would expose people to diseases and then dissect them alive. In all, an estimated half a million people were killed in these experiments. Unit 731 was given immunity from persecution by the US government in order for the US to get access to the results of the experiments. The above description really only touches the surface of the horrors that were performed by Unit 731. If you are squeamish, I would not recommend reading into this any further. To join the dots, if you ever access healthcare, much of what we know about how the body responds to different traumas came from these experiments. So every time you are treated in a hospital, you are indirectly benefiting from these experiments. Tarantulas can swim. Yes, they can. If you get a blood transfusion and get the wrong type of blood, one of the symptoms is a sense of impending doom. A transfusion with the wrong blood type can cause a severe reaction that may be life-threatening. 
If you have many blood transfusions, you are more likely to have problems from immune system reactions. A reaction causes your body to form antibodies that attack the new blood cells. One of the reasons crows and ravens are associated with death is because they would often follow armies as they march it to battle. Being both cardion birds and extremely intelligent, they realized that a large group of armed men marching in one direction meant that there would be a tasty meal of corpses to eat soon afterwards. 